So, you know... I am just feeling in the mood. So, I'm gonna just keep recording in the mood. The sickest, sickest mood. You don't... Please, 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 please lag. Game, stop lag. I need this guy before he, like... Commits explosive side. For once in my life, I'm grateful that the game gives you the power up you lost by default. Um, door, door. I almost forgot how to fly, and that would have been bad. Let's just cheese the boss right here, right now. Thank you very much. So. Anyone like apple pie? Pie's a good thing. It's a tasty thing. Uh, you know, but I haven't had strawberry pie since... Apple pie. Or since I actually got into strawberries to begin with. Well, that's sad. I could have sworn like I could mic through there. They really have to save Crash all the way for this point. Eh, yeah, whatever the case may be. I'm gonna move onwards. Uh, I... This is... My brain is so weird today. Why am I talking about apple and strawberry pie? But it's the only topic I got, so I'm gonna continue on with it. Apple pie is probably my favorite quote-unquote real pie. My true favorite pie is... Wait for it, chocolate pudding pie. But apple pie is a pretty solid person. Like, if I were to have two side-by-side -side these days, now that I'm an adult, I'm probably much more fond of apple pie. Especially if you go al dente with it and all that. Okay, can I destroy you without destroying the tomato? You sir, you destroyed my tomato. I specifically hit you in the head and somehow your tomato died. And that just makes me a really sad panda because I really wanted that tomato for the one health that I lost. The screw it, the laser sucked anyways. This is a really... wonky king, but hey, we got the door. Guess we're good to go. This would be a cool area to have high jump. Freaking high, stop blocking my head. No, I grabbed the power up, but that's not actually gonna help me not get hit by guys. This new old dude up here might, though, if I could, like, freaking grab him. Doop. Okay, yeah, Kirby does get slight color changes, but, like, it's not as noticeable as more recent games. Well, I was too late to actually stop any rocks from falling on my head, and I'm at least able to get this area with a wheel. I feel like that should have worked. I feel like that should... I. He should have just, like, been... I should be more invincible when I'm using Needle, is what I'm trying to say. Well, now that I have no power-up, now I gotta get the wheel. Sir, can you do me a kind favor and just hit the wall? Thank you. I need your little tired dudes, like... Actually... Can I just swallow the tire thing you spits out for a power? Nope, nope. I was gonna say, I could just get the tire power up without being the boss. And save us all a lot of hassle, but no, you're gonna just have to see me suck the old-fashioned way. Yay. <laughs> well, at least one more hit should do the trick, which means like this boss was gonna die in like two hits. Three hits to begin with, which really makes me feel like I'm sucking in more than I usually do. But Brain Off Day is a perfect opportunity to play a Kirby Day game. Why? I don't even care that giant bar on the main game, microphone, auto-auto-auto recording. <sighs> in the back of my mind, I knew that was gonna happen, but my brain is off, so there's nothing to read. 
send that warning to the part of the brain that mattered for this particular situation. Okay, one more hit. Dude, just do your thing where you hit the wall, shoot out your little mini guy. Now let me get the tire power up that I like spent way more than what's worthwhile for. Alright, now to see if all that hassle was actually worth it. Indeed it was. I can pretty much just breeze through this whole area. Though, with all the time it took me to take down the tire guy, it probably would have been simpler just to go through there, especially because I'm thinking about just getting rid of this power-up right now, getting freeze or ice, whatever the game wants to call it. No, don't, don't, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! I thought they were just gonna stay up there, I was just waiting for my power-up to go away. No! No! No, 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 no! Why is everything going wrong today? Why can't I fly by tapping A like in all the other Kirby games? Man... This is certainly making me appreciate all the modern conveniences that we got in our video games these days. For the record though, I am having fun, like... My- like it- frick! Like I said, my brain's turned off, so I am barely feeling any emotion right now. It's, so there's no way I'm feeling the emotion of anger. Despite how all the shouting that I'm doing. Anything I can do to, like, ease me- I, I was just- I look away one second because, like, I notice my throat is kind of getting fresh. I could use some water. Is it worth pausing right in the middle of the recording session to get some water? And, of course, that's when Mr. Boogie Man decides to just plop me right in the head. Boogie Man. Did I really just call it Bugsy Boogie Man? What is wrong with me today? Well, might as well market the heck out of it and <laughs> take advantage of it for every cent I can get out of it. <laughs> well, at least I'm fairly confident I do not have to worry about a game over. Ever. Okay, so... I'm fine... I'm only gonna get to use sword. Except for the fact I forgot I still have backdrop. Fantastic. Oh. No, I'm not making the same mistake. No, this backdrop's just getting me killed. I'm getting rid of it before it can do any more harm to me. And I'll take anything else I can get in the process. Even high jump. How the heck was that beam? It was two Superman dudes. You know what? That, that that's what's gonna happen eventually. Hanging around with one health is dangerous in a Kirby game. It's just like way too easy to be careless. Yeah, that was freaking high jump. And I thought I was screwed there because I thought I got myself clipped in an area that I can get down from. But thankfully, they made the tower so that the bottom area is higher or smaller than the top area and I know from before eventually you're gonna fall off that pillar so you're going in my mouth before that thank you very much hmm man maces just what I need when I'm trying to do a mindless commentary I will take the health though it is very well appreciated and I just realized that could have been my chance to use sword it's not over yet, you can still redeem yourself, Jackie K. There we go. <laughs> I thought it was gonna become a running trend of me just, like, never getting to use the sword power-up, despite how good it is. But, alas, we made it to the top, we have a sword. We're all good to go. And man, that was the end of the level already. Dum-ba-dum-ba-dum-pom! You know what? We haven't done a mini game in a good chunk of a minute. Oh, this is a museum. Well, I think I need high jump for the boss, so that will be useful to know. And actually, I think it's this level that I need high jump for. Maybe not. Warp Star is gonna uh, take care of us for right now. Look at that fantastic 
3D effect only possible on the NES. Oh, hi, man. Now you're sending your cronies again? I guess it's about that time of the level to do so. No, no, no! I have a sword. You have an axe. Weapon triangle indicates that I have the advantage, so you must die! Frick! So much for a sword being better than an axe. No, screw it! Screw it! These guys are so much easier to take care of. Without a power-up, because you can just suck them up, and they die. And I didn't even have to lose my sword. I thought we were going to actually continue the stupid trend by losing my sword. Just in order to beat the guys. Okay, so yeah. Was that one up worth it? No. Did I go for it anyways? Yes. To be fair... I do want my pie, and to eat it too. That had the tendency to go so much worse than it did. And I'm just fascinated that we are here talking to you all today. Okay, this is a mini game if I recall. As much as I just want to get to the end of the game, it's only fair to showcase a couple mini games. I think this is one where I actually have to time it. And I may have to actually turn my brain on for this, because, like, you gotta actually time it well. To what? I don't know. I think just the word fire is all it takes. So, let's see... Boop! You ain't taking my hat today, good sir. I shall have that sailor hat. Frick. No, I needed that sailor hat. It would have made a fine addition to my hat collection. Unfortunately, all I got was points, and because this is a game after the 80s, the points don't really matter. This is not an arcade game, therefore points don't matter, but we get them anyways, cause they're a part of an old series of video game tropes. Hey! Man, now that I finally got the sword, I don't want to get rid of it. But for curiosity's sake, is Ice and Freeze two different powers in this game? I think it is. Wait, did I just get rid of sword? What the heck is wrong with me? I just got done saying I'm happy to finally have sword. So I will pick my sword back up, good sir. It was nice to use freeze for literally one second. Speaking of having power up for literally one second. There's only one thing that's more OP than the sword in this game. And I can't believe that our sword is getting replaced so quickly. But I am going to have me a hammer. It's hammer time. I'm going to use it to break these blocks really easy. Grand so can the sword. But can the sword do this? And get me health right when I was about to die again. Thank you, game design. Thank you for like letting me play this game on autopilot. About 99% of the time. Thank you, Autopilot. Maybe we can do this again. Maybe we can play again with Autopilot. Alright. Now, I... F I know this has been my excuse the entire series. But I think I will be wrapping it up after completing this level. Even though, like, it's nowhere going to be a 30-hour session. If I do decide to do the 30 and not 15 minute thing, we'll... I'll just crop two parts together. I'm okay with that. This is not a professional playthrough at any means. If I am missing an outro here and there, it's no biggie. Let me have... Freckle Meekles. So let's see, that's... That's one for actually... 
gain the power up back when I actually want to get the power up back, and two for having the power up back feature screw me over the power up that I actually want to have. All right. You know what? Fire actually. What am I thinking? Fireball is cool. Why am I being a basic bro and going for it back to the sword? Now, I knew there had to be a door there. That area was just way too suspicious. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it was a trick. I had to actually think. And the door is gone, so I can't just... Can I cheese it again? Alright. For real this time. Aha! I am victorious in this exchange this time, good sir. And that gives me a mini game. Like I wasn't trying to breeze through those as much as I could already. Man, I didn't realize just how devious the game was. Oh, is this like the one case where light is a Kirby power? Like I remember like being an obscure thing. Like it was in one of the modern games, but I didn't remember it from any of the retro games. But I think like someone playing it reminded me that it exists right here. I wasted my sword for that. Was it worth it? Well, I mean, I got a new sword right here, so... Why am I even asking the question? Speaking of getting rid of the sword, like, one second after I get it... I am using high jump here, because I'm pretty sure it's going to be more useful to have. Is it boss time yet? Is it boss time yet? Uh, I guess, sir. I do believe it is time for a boss fight. Which may or may not involve climbing up a tall tower first and foremost. Here we go, it's boss time. Why do- Okay, here's the thing. Crackle. I- Every boss fight since World 2, I've been thinking that I'm gonna fight freaking Crackle. I got no good reason for it. And yet here we are, dying to not crackle. And I should remember sign and shine, or moan and shine, and you, uh, you know the trend at this point. I think I know my Kirby, and yet I am dumb and don't know my Kirby. I am. That's why I felt like I'm way too rusty in my Kirby, and we. I need to redeem myself with some more Kirby. The only way I'm gonna get good at Kirby again is if I actually play the Kirby's. Can you believe that there was a period of time with Superstar Ultra where I was actually amazing with Kirby? Like I was able to beat the true arena without power-ups fairly consistently? Yeah, that's how good I used to be in Kirby. Like there's even still, if you search my YouTube channel, I know I have to have a video of me actually being competent in Kirby somewhere. It'll be real horrible quality because it was before my 3DS capture device. But at least I'm good at Kirby. No. History shall not repeat itself. I shall learn from my mistakes, learn from my deaths. In theory. If jump and fly were the same button, Navigating around this boss would be so much easier. No, I can't suck up the Kamehameha wave, can I? Let me just hit you for all your worth. Thank you for letting me keep my ficky fat bulkness. Now it's time to kill the moon, because we weren't content with killing the sun. And if I knew that was going to be the last star I got, I would have actually swallowed it, get the fire power up, and actually do some solid work on this. But the boss is dead. And the world doesn't fall into dismay because the moon and sun are dead. Did I just call it a moon and a star? Technically, I'm not wrong, at least. The sun's a star. <laughs> but yeah, wow, we're about at 20 minutes just doing level 3, so hey. That works for me. Maybe I'll go clean up some levels.
yeah, let's go clean up some mini games, because why not? By some mini games, I mean one mini game, because this has already been a long recording session, or I mean a long episode, or something. Wait, didn't I do this one already? Well, I'm gonna take this while I'm here. I mean... I came all the way back here. It'd be a waste not to try again. Okay, here's the deal. Chonker is right there next to the pipe. I have to go for Chonker. This, cause this time, there's no way I'm not gonna get the Chonker. I, I <laughs> wonder how many subscribers I'm gonna lose after saying that. But see there! I got it! Now do I go for another Chonker? Or do I play a safe? You go broke or go home! <laughs> I swear to god I'm not drunk. And you can tell because I was actually trying to be ironic and say the whole I swear to dog I'm not drunk or however it goes and just bong goofed it. Yay, a two up. So it's probably just as worthwhile to go after two little guys instead of a chonker. But then you wouldn't, then you ha wouldn't have the luxury of owning a chonker. No, I'm sorry, like the Sonic, <laughs> the Sonic vlog, or the Sonic streams of all things got me saying that it's corrupted my mind. 